In January of 2020, our southern neighbor, China, declared the outbreak of COVID-19. As a result, Mongolia closed down all its international borders and quarantined all kindergartens and schools nationwide by the end of January. With the complete lockdown, over 900,000 children and adolescents were locked down in their homes without proper care and supervision. Initial statistics showed that child physical abuse increased by 2.3% and emotional abuse increased by 59%. Incidences of domestic abuse and alcoholism also spiked. In need of preventing further child abuse and violence, the government implementing agency, the Authority for Family, Child and Youth Development, and World Vision Mongolia jointly initiated a chat box counseling service to provide psychosocial support for children and adolescents, identify child abuse cases, and enhance the current reporting and referral mechanism in the country. Child Helpline 108 is a free, easy to access, confidential counseling and referral service for children and concerned adults in Mongolia. World Vision Mongolia, the Authority for Family, Child and Youth Development, and Mongolia's largest telecom corporation, Mobicom, partnered and initiated the Child Helpline 108 in 2014. In response to COVID-19 and the complete lockdown, the Authority for Family, Child and Youth Development and World Vision Mongolia agreed to expand the Child Helpline with a chat box counseling service in May of 2020. The service would offer children the freedom of speech and reporting without being overheard by their perpetrators. It is estimated that there are over 2.2 million active online users in Mongolia. Of these, 95% are active from their cell phones. 92% of adolescents use Facebook and 70% are active online 2-3 to three hours daily on the internet. Therefore, this initiative was considered timely and user-friendly. The chat box offers a wide range of counseling services and psychosocial support for children and caregivers during the challenging COVID-19 times. Chatters experience a high degree of anonymity. The communication is placeless, faceless, and voiceless. To successfully initiate the chat box counseling service, psychologists were recruited and trained using the Chat Counseling for Children and Youth Handbook by Child Helpline International with support from World Vision Technical Advisor. Equipment to be used for the chat box counseling were procured and set to work. Posters, brochures and advertisements were disseminated through social networks and local television. Since its launch on June 2nd till August 20th, a total of 555 chatters received some type of psychosocial services from the chat box counseling service. Of these, about 70% received counseling, about 10% reported child protection incidents, and 15% requested information on available child protection services. The remainder were silent or test connections.